Welcome once again to Air Engine Research. For you new viewers, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and give me a thumbs up or thumbs down so I know how I'm doing. For you longtime viewers, thank you for hanging in there. Sometimes it looks like maybe we're not getting anywhere, but uh, I've been working over the last, say, four or five weeks on designs and uh, building some of the prototype parts that I've been putting together and it's coming along. The uh, current three-cylinder version that I'm working on is a combination of the uh, first eccentric two-plate eccentric drive that I came up with and a standard crankshaft. It uses three eccentric lobes to drive the drive shaft and there's three cams that will be used to operate the individual intake and exhaust valves. Um, I'll show you all the parts and the pieces and how they go together and also I've got a couple of videos that I made uh, recently while I was actually trying to put the parts together. The uh, frame will still be made out of wood, oak, which is just as strong as the aluminum. It only costs maybe like five dollars. So I'm going to go with wood. It's a lot easier to work with and if I make a mistake to, to remake a part is a lot easier too. But all the uh, wear parts will have bearings and and metal parts for the drive shaft. The uh, cams for the valves I believe will be made out of out of metal and the other moving parts I think we'll still be made out of wood. We'll have to see when the, when the final thing comes. Uh, I priced the cost of aluminum and boy, it's out of sight right now. So why don't we go ahead and I'll start showing you some of the parts and pieces and I'll work my way through this video as we do it. So let's get started. Okay, this is basically how the cylinder and the push arm and the cams and the eccentric will will make the engine run. As you can see this on this one here there will be a bearing that goes in this hole. This is where the cylinder is attached and this cutout that's necessary to allow it to go all the way down to the drive shaft when it's where it's supposed to go. Anyway, that is basically how the drive works. The cylinder pushes it. The cam shuts off the air. The air is pushed out. The cylinder fires again and pushes the push arm down. It just continues. 
This will be a three cylinder. I don't have all the things hooked up. I'm waiting for some set screws. But this is just the uh, wooden prototype, so there's possibly going to be some changes, but I don't think so. This seems to be working pretty good. Although it took me several variations to get to this point. First couple, the push rod from the cylinder was in the wrong place and it would hit the bearing. And when I got that straightened out, then the cam would push the push arm a little bit too high and it would come above the eccentric and I was afraid that if the push arm comes above the eccentric when it tried to come back down that it might hit it. So I had to do the cutout and make that so that the cam and the eccentric are always inside up in here. This, this part here is always going to be at least on the cam and the eccentric so it, it can't go sideways. It always has to stay within it. But this is how far I am after I think two weeks I've been working on this last batch. The drafting or the diagram is great but when you actually start putting the pieces together you start finding things that you didn't expect like something will hit something that you can't get around so i've remade those push arms i think four times in order to get to the point where i'm at now but as i said i think that's going to be okay Well, that's going to be it for today. Uh, once again, if you're a, a new viewer, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and you'll be notified, like I said, anytime that something new comes on. Uh, also, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down so I know whether I'm at least making some sense with what I'm doing. And for you longtime viewers, thanks again for checking in and I'll be making some more uh, informational videos, but it'll be a while yet. So just keep checking in and I'll see you next time. Bye.